All right, you guys, I am really excited to show you my personal Mini Cooper. This belongs to me. This is my car and I built it with a no expense spared budget. I threw the kitchen sink at this car, so I'm really excited to show you guys this thing. This is a Mark 7. This is the original paint on it. I bought it with 2,000 original miles on it. I have about 8,000 miles on it now. Uh, this is one of the few cars my wife will ride in when we go to the Oregon Mini Society uh, overnighters or we do our uh, road trips. She's like, which one are we taking? <laughs> I'm like, well, you wanna take the good one? And she's like, yes, please. The reason being is that it's very comfortable. It's very fast. It smells good. It doesn't leak water. It doesn't smell like gas. <laughs> You classic Mark I owners know what I'm talking about. All right, well, let's take a look at this car. So this is a Sport Pack MPI with these beautiful Sport Pack flares. And I did a lot of really unique things that uh, you really got to look at to kind of see. So first of all, I put some chrome rings around the front turn signal lights. Um, I also did, of course, our European license plate, uh, plate on the front, uh, Jet Motors tie downs, these genuine uh, Rover uh, rally lamp covers. Um, those are cool. Uh, I like those a lot. Come on over here and you can see here that on e the, even the side markers, I put these little chrome trims around. Uh, this car originally had the Union Jacks with the screws in them. Uh, I don't know which models or how that came about, but those are the actual factory ones that were already, you know, on it when I got it. I did the Cooper chrome mirrors, uh, the three piece style, seven by 13 inch wheels with the Yokohama A048 tires. The Patty Hopkirk uh, calipers with the uh, rotors and the adjustable suspension, the Jet Motors uh, suspension kit. Th this car is, I mean, we can spend about 20 hours going over all the features and benefits of this thing, but I'll, I'll try and, you know, snap it up and make it, you know, as quick as I can. I went with a uh, kind of legal tint on the windows. Uh, it's maybe just a shade darker than legal. Uh, and I don't know if it's just Oregon or whatever state, but uh, anyway, I love the tinted windows, the ceramic coating on the paint. Uh, that's the G Technique uh, ceramic coating, and it looks really good. It, you never really have to wash it. You just kind of wipe it off. Um, we did the chrome trim uh, over the window pillars, sort of like the, the Cooper S back in the day, the Mark 1s and 2s and the Coopers. They all got this chrome trim, which is really cool. Um, these are the S Works badging. Uh, on the car, um, of course, in red. I took the uh, stripes and all that off. I wanted it clean and sanitary. I didn't want a bunch of, you know, bonnet stripes or uh, that kind of stuff. So I, I tried to tidy it up the best I could. Uh, we also went with the uh, deluxe trim between the wheel arches uh, below the door to uh, also highlight this chrome trim that you see on the, the Cooper, John Cooper Monza flip top gas cap. Uh, the uh, the chrome trim around the windows, uh, the chrome mirrors, uh, you know, I, it just, you know, that I've, I've kind of, I built cars with no, tr no chrome. I deleted the chrome and went with black or, or powder coat or it just looked too plastic. We, you know, chrome really makes the car look metal. Uh, and that attention to detail, ah, look at the back end on this thing. Ay, ay, ay. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is the Oregon actual SP license plate. Take a look here. There's, there's the real Oregon SP plate. Um, and I went ahead and, you know, ordered the Oregon European style plate. Now, whether or not that's legal or not, I, I don't know, but I did get a photo radar ticket with that plate on. So if it's good enough for a ticket, then obviously it works. So, um, you know, if you're a police officer, uh, I'd like to debate you on that, whether or not, you know, anyway, uh, you can see, of course, we've got the really nice boot liner kit. Um, and look, I mean, you got to look at some of the details here. The, the, hey, there's no rust on this car, by the way. This is a brand new classic mini. Uh, that's one of those really cool full throttle AGM style batteries with the Jet Motors tie down or a uh, battery cutoff, USA made. The battery grounds, the SeaTech charger, the genuine factory mini tool kit and jack. That's the real deal. That's what came with this car. Um, I have a roadside emergency kit inside the spare tire there. Um, anyway, I think it just looks beautiful back here. You know, this was, this is my car. And, uh, you know, I wanted it to 
have all the cool stuff. You can see the genuine John Cooper works badging back here. Uh, come on over here and we'll take a look inside the car. Um, this is a genuine John Cooper S works car. It has the actual conversion on it. It's making about 90 horsepower. Uh, it is, for all intents and purposes, the top of the line, best of the best, the best you can get, along with every upgrade I could possibly throw at it from adjustable uh, suspension, the sway bars, the uh, big brake kit, the big wheels and tires, and the infotainment system. Now, I spent about $10,000 on the infotainment system. Check this out. So what we have here are powered subwoofers under the seats. These are the JBL powered subwoofers. And there's one under each seat. There's one under the driver's seat. There's one under the passenger seat. And this car absolutely thumps. Uh, my wife keeps telling me to turn it down, but uh, I like it so much. Sometimes I just sit in the car and listen to the stereo because it's so crisp and so powerful and so clear. Um, maybe I'll hook my phone up to it and let you hear it for a second. So uh, let's keep walking around the car and then we'll, we'll do that. Um, I've, I, I went with a full-blown Patty Hopkirk theme. Check this out. So it's got the Patty Hopkirk door pulls, window cranks, uh, openers, all this Patty Hopkirk stuff. I, I, I went with every single piece of Patty Hopkirk um, option that I could do to this car on this car because I, I got all this stuff from our friend Patty Hopkirk before he passed away and this is from the our friends at mini sport in the uk uh, they have a wonderful patty hopkirk line look he signed my dashboard when he was here um, uh, you can see all this really cool stuff um, look at this john cooper badge um, patty hopkirk signature uh, all the patty hopkirk themes now we do something really cool with this car at the car shows and this is one People's Choice, Best in Show. This has won a lot of awards. This is a top of the line mini. And uh, we do something called Count the Patties. So I will bring uh, raffle tickets and I'll let everybody fill out their name and their guess as to how many patties are on this car. Let's just give you an example of what that might look like. There's one patty, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's just the beginning. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the actual number is, but it's a lot because they're everywhere. And some places you really have to look. But if it says Patty Hopkirk on it, I bolted it on this car. Let's pop the bonnet and let's take a look underneath the uh, bonnet at the engine compartment. Okay, look at this. What we have here is a 1300cc A plus uh, MPI multi-point injection with crank fire ignition, uh, the oil cooler from the John Cooper Works conversion, the blue, uh, the blue cylinder head from the Cooper Car Company. This is all part of the Works conversion kit. Um, this motor is amazing. I want you to hear the exhaust. Let me fire it up for you. This is one of the best features of this car. <laughs> this exhaust system. So this is part of the actual works conversion kit. So I'm going to let my lab pick up the exhaust note. <laughs> that exhaust sounds so good and it looks so good. That is the actual Cooper Works exhaust, and uh, that's my favorite. And it sounds good, it looks good. Um, look at this thing. Man, I love this car. I love this car. Look at the, uh, this is the genuine John Cooper Works conversion uh, VIN plate. There's a specific VIN on there. Now it also has the actual certificate that comes with the car, signed by John Michael Cooper. That is John Cooper's son. And uh, here, I'll turn, the, I'll turn the motor off. Not only is it a genuine John Cooper works car, but check this out. This is the Jet Motors remastered tagger. This is also a specific VIN plate. 
Uh, we got the idea from the John Cooper Works Company and also the David Brown remastered cars. So uh, this is a remastered jet motor special. This is the actual uh, VIN plate and the actual certificate that I signed with the VIN number on it that says this is one of our cars that we put our DNA into. And uh, this is serial number 003. This is the third one I built and um, this car is really, really special to me. So anyway, uh, I thought you guys might like to see that and I'm going to actually uh, play the stereo for you now and let's go take you for a ride. So I want you guys to hear the stereo system in this thing. So um, let me hook it up and play it and let's see what we get here. So. I can't believe it's not butter. Holy mackerel! Wow! Oh man! It's so loud and crisp! Alright, let's go for the ride! Okay, you guys ready to go for a ride in one of my cars? Uh, I also did the uh, short shift in this with the uh, specialist components angled extension and the Patty Hopkirk shift knob, of course, more patties. Remember, there's a lot of Patty Hopkirks on this car, which makes a lot of fun, especially for the kids. You know, they really enjoy trying to count all the patties. Um, it's quite a challenging game and sure is a hit at the show. So um, here, I'll turn the radio down here. Um, so, oh, hey, I want, to, I want you to see this. So I got two full sets of keys, ignition, door and boot, and the engine immobilizer and alarm system. There are two full-blown key fobs and uh, two full sets. So uh, you press this button until the red, red light gets off, and then you can start it up. I like to put it in neutral. I don't push the clutch in and just... No choke, no nothing. It's fuel injected, so just turn the key on and go. Uh, isn't that nice? Uh, this stereo is Bluetooth. The microphone is right here so that you can uh, talk via Bluetooth with hands-free. Um, that's a little magnet mount I put there for my phone. Uh, that's just from Shroth. I think I got it at Costco. Uh, but that's a, I mean, I love how that works. It just sits right there. It's real easy to see. Uh, what can I tell you about this? So this car checks a lot of boxes for me when I bought it. So. I really wanted a left-hand drive, not right-hand drive, Mark 7 with miles per hour speedometer, uh, not kilometers. Um, I, I wanted it all original. I wanted it to be a blank canvas that I could, you know, put all of our really cool Patty Hopkirk stuff on and create sort of a Patty Hopkirk themed red mini with I wanted I didn't want a contrasting roof I wanted it to be monotone uh, you know bright Ferrari red uh, I don't know what Rover calls this color but I have not seen I, I don't think it's tartan but it is the brightest brightest red uh, very similar to uh, Ferrari I just don't know what else to say um, I put one of our really cool uh, bad boy air horns in it and this special Motolita steering wheel this has a huge story behind just this wheel. Um, I called my friend Chris Harper up at Mini Sport and said, hey man, I'm doing a Patty Hopkirk themed Mini for myself. And um, I need one of those Patty Hopkirk steering wheels. I know there was only 50 of them ever made. And he said, oh, we, we sold out of those really fast. And um, I said, oh man, I, I was really bummed. And I said, ah, I really wanted one of those. Darn it. He said, well, I'll tell you what. He says, I have the prototype that Motolita built us. It's in a glass case on my desk. And as a special favor to you, Jeremy, um, I'll let you have that one. So there's this, there's this one, number one, serial number one of 50. And then there's another number one of 50 uh, that is the production. But this is the prototype and this is the one and only uh, and it's really special to me because I was really good friends with Patty Hopkirk. I'm really good friends with Chris and he did that as a favor to me. So thank you, my friend. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. So 
Anyway, let's go for a ride in one of the Jet Motors remastered minis. So, uh, this is the best of the best. Um, uh, these are the most comfortable, quiet, fast, beautiful minis, I think, uh, Rover ever built. Now, um, I, I, I do love the Mark I, don't get me wrong. Um, the Mark I is a really special car, but so are these. Uh, these are really great cars. Um, now, forgive me for not putting on my seatbelt. Don't get mad at me, please, because look, I don't want to rub it on the microphone. Uh, uh, I'm not going to go terribly fast. Um, but I I'm just going around the block, really, to give you guys a ride and let you hear it. This is such a cool car. I, I can't describe to you guys how nice it is driving this thing. Um, smooth, quiet, fast. I mean, quiet in that the rear exhaust note has a nice bark outside, but it's, it's still pleasant in here. Um, with the stereo off, you can, of course, <laughs> have a nice conversation, but if you'd like to be entertained and maybe rock out, you can certainly do that in this thing. Um, uh, I just, this car checks so many boxes for me. Uh, listen to how there's no rattles or anything. And we're going over, we're going over some good bumps. And um, even when the stereo is really banging hard, uh, it's not vibrating the car to pieces. Um, it's really nice. Look at how this thing shifts. Watch this, two fingers. <laughs> And it's in a really comfortable position. The dished Motolita steering wheel, the Patty Hopkirk dished Motolita steering wheel with this angled shifter. Look at that. It's just so comfortable. Uh, the driving position, how these seats just, it's easy to get in and out of. Um, the, these are the best minis I think ever built. So I spent an incredible amount of time setting up the suspension. I corner balanced it. We have uh, corner weights in the shop and we've got the 50-50 distribution between the front and rear totally dialed. The caster, the camber, the toe, front and rear is absolutely spot on. Um, you know, I, I always knew that I would be taking uh, long trips in this car with my wife. She's normally sitting right there. Um, and this car is such a hit everywhere we go. If you don't like attention, don't get a classic Mini because when you come out of the uh, grocery store or wherever, I mean, there's eight people standing around your car asking you a million questions. So uh, it's, we call it the rock star car for everyday people. So um, you might as well be driving a spaceship, right? Because people freak. Um, This car is so nice. One of the great things about taking this on a, a good road trip is, is that it has a 276 final drive with 13 inch wheels. What that means is, is that when we're cruising down the freeway at 75 miles an hour, uh, it's only tacking 3200 RPM. Uh, so it's really pleasant on the freeway. Um, the fuel mileage I was getting, I think, I think I was getting 42 miles to the gallon 
uh, on our last road trip, which is phenomenal. I mean, that's just great. Uh, it does have the nine gallon oversized US tank. Um, and I think this car is perfect. Absolutely perfect. One of the best there is. Well, there you go. I was really excited to show you my personal mini here, you guys. Um, this is something that I take a lot of pride in because it is one of the Jet Motors remastered cars. Um, very special indeed. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope I gave you guys some ideas that you could do to your car. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Make some comments down below. Let us know what you think. Um, uh, if there's anything I can do to help you guys or answer your questions and give you ideas to do to your Mini, uh, I'm happy to do that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that ride along in one of my personal cars and uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right, take it easy. Grab my phone.